For over 100 years, we've had two powerful theories. Quantum mechanics for the small, general relativity for the large, but no one could connect them. That bridge may be something surprisingly simple, E. Landauer, which is Landauer's limit calculated at Hawking temperature. Landauer's limit is the minimum energy it takes to erase one quantum bit of information according to thermodynamics. And when you calculate E. Landauer for a one kilometer black hole, you get 1.74 times 10 to the negative 30 joules per bit. That matches general relativity's gravitational energy per Planck area of that horizon of 1.261 times 10 to the negative 30 joules. This aligns with E. Landauer within a factor of natural log 4. And this indicates that gravity is an emission. Now scale it up. A 100 kilometer black hole, E. Landauer drops by 100 times. General relativity says the gravitational energy per Planck area also drops 100 times for that event horizon. Shrink it to a one Planck length black hole and E. Landauer shoots up to 10 to the 8 joules. Multiply that by the number of Planck areas on that black hole and what you get is Planck energy, 10 to the 9 joules. So it holds for all scales. So what does this interpretation mean? It means gravity is the energy cost of communicating entangled quantum states. Gravity emerges when matter particles become entangled and pay the energy cost to lock in spin correlation. That cost is E. Landauer, and it performs what Einstein coined spooky action at a distance. This bridge shows a new way to see the universe. Information, temperature, and space are all connected. If you want a deeper dive, check out my other video on how gravity emerges from entanglement on my playlist. Thanks for watching, and remember, gravity is for the masses.